For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot sniffing out the college 25 cheese in today's video they just dropped a very big and important deep dive trailer where they went over a lot of features so i'm not going to repeat all that because you probably get that just from watching it live but instead i'm going to show you guys a lot of stuff that they had hidden in the trailer that to me i'm much more interested in things like new play formations uh the new abilities which is obviously very important i'm going to go over all of those uh but before i do if you guys want to see me do more videos like this as always please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section other than that Let's go and get right into the video. Now, very early on, you get a first look at some new formations. Here we got the wing X off close. I'm going to go more into some of the formations that they show later because they're much more uh, unique to college football than that. Although they do have a lot of formations um, that you see in Madden as well, which you'll see later in the video, uh, which, you know, they're not going to have 100% unique stuff just to college there's going to be some crossover as they will use a lot of the same stuff just to fill out the game but you're gonna have a lot of unique plays that's the bottom line as you can see right here we have the gun bunch open offset which is already in madden you get to see the rpo read bubble the inside zone the flood these are all very common concepts now if we stay on this freeze frame you can see even more of what i'm talking about other than the gun bunch open offset you also have some formations like the split slot offset the doubles y off the y off trips the y off trips week none of the formations you see on screen are new to college football which lets you know that they're going to be porting over a lot of plays from Madden. I'm not saying they're going to work the same way that they work in Madden because obviously the defense might be programmed a little bit different, but you can see that there's not a ton of new plays. It's not going to be all new games or all new formations. It's going to have a lot of new formations, but they're probably going to be more specific to unique college football offenses like Army, Navy, stuff like that, which I'll get into a little bit later in the video. Now, early on in the video, they go over the wear and tear system, but obviously they show a clip of you getting to choose whether to keep a player in the game or replace them, which is something that's already in Madden once again. This is not something that's new to football. It's not new to the game at all. A lot of times players get injured and it'll let you choose whether you want to keep them in the game. Uh, it'll show you if it's a high-risk injury or whatnot, and they'll, they'll give you the choice to sub them out or not. Now, one thing that is kind of new is you can see the difference in the substitution. Going from a 78 overall player to a 55 is a really huge jump compared to Madden. Uh, but ultimately, they also say that at the bottom of the screen here, player and team ranks shown are not final and subject to change. Now, it says subject to change, meaning that I really doubt they're going to go through an entire game with 134 football teams, about 90 players to a squad, and change all the ratings. So these are probably pretty official. You might see a few point changes here and there. But for the most part, I think you can take these ratings for what they're worth. Now, as far as the wear and tear system goes in general, they say flat out that every hit matters. So if you're one of these players that likes to juke back in bounds and try to get as many uh, highlight reel yards and carries as possible, that's probably not going to be the best idea. That's probably not going to be a very good idea because you're going to want to save your players as much as possible. So it's telling you right here, in these opportunities to run out of bounds, run out of bounds. Because if not, you're going to be hurting your players. They're going to be losing stamina. All that stuff is going to be bad. So it's going to pay to play very conservatively in this particular game mode. Now, one of the next big things that they really revealed was the player abilities. You can see here, there is a massive amount of player abilities, uh, and we don't know what they all do yet, but if you know a little bit about football, some of the terms that they're using really aren't that hard to figure out as far as what they probably mean in the game. Things like chip shot, that's got to be, you know, field goal kickers under 30 yards or something like that, probably having a slower meter. Uh, things like clear-headed, that might make it easier for you to uh, read a defense uh, when the crowd noise is getting louder. Coffin corner, we all know what a coffin corner pun is. Cutter, that basically is, you know, maybe a, a lineman that's doing chop blocks or something like that. Maybe he's better at doing chop blocks. Uh, drop back disruptor. Balance, you know, you can you can guess based off of what you're seeing that a lot of these what they're going to mean. Now, there is one here that I want to point out for later in the video called Option King. I'll show you guys that a little bit later when they show an actual option play, which is something that I'm going to uh, break down a little bit more. Uh, but showing some of the ones that they tried to highlight, one of the first ones they tried to, to highlight is called Sidestep, which is essentially uh, Jukebox. It says improved fake outs on juke moves. Is that not the exact same thing as Jukebox? Like I said, there's going to be a lot of things like that where it really just felt like they rebranded it, but it's ability from Madden. It's the same thing. As you can see here, this guy's going to make this 
ball carry miss. Uh, that's nothing too crazy. Uh, they even I don't even think they changed the name of some of these. Now you also have one here which I think is going to be um, you know ball hawk because that's something that's already in the game. It's typically a I think it's an X factor. Uh, these are just like superstar abilities for the most part. It doesn't look like you have to activate them. It looks like they're always on. You got clutch kicker. Uh, which is something that is already in the game. But this one here, downhill, it says breaks tackles at max speed. It doesn't say higher chances of breaking tackles. It says breaks tackles at max speed. This looks like an overpower ability if all you have to do is get to max speed and you're going to break a tackle. If you can just sprint right away and get to top speed, you're going to break a tackle every single time. That sounds like, uh, you know, that sounds pretty OP for my mutt players out there. You're probably going to be running into that quite a bit. But ultimately, this is a very interesting, uh, newer looking one. I don't know, maybe Angry Runs is similar, but that looks uh, that looks pretty OP. Now, one of the more important ones looks like it's going to be Field General. This looks like a combination of things. It's not just going to be Omaha. It says that progressively you see more pre-snap tells from the defense. Now, I'm guessing progress, the progression is probably on how often your opponent runs the play because they have stuff like that in Madden already. But ultimately, this one here, it, also, it looks like they have abilities on third and fourth down where you can see if guys are blitzing. So this looks like it's going to be a combination of the two where it says progressively see more pre-snap tells from the defense. So if you have somebody running the same blitz over and over, that might show up. If you have somebody running the same coverage over and over, that might show up. That's a very interesting one as well. This is going to be one of the more important ones. As you can see, we have that on one of the, the biggest players in the game and Ewers. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, there's a lot of really um, things that are very close to Madden, including the Stadium Pulse, which is a new name. But ultimately, it's uh, something that's going to be uh, very similar to uh, the crowd noise issue in Kansas City's home field advantage. Now, I pause this too because you can see the hot routes that they have set up here. It looks like you have a larger hot route wheel. It almost looks like Hot Route Master. And it looks like it's on every single quarterback because this particular quarterback has it. And then they fast forward to a different quarterback, uh, and he has it as well with the exact same hot routes. Uh, but ultimately, I also pause this right here because you can see that there's little, look, what looks like little snow icons next to all of the uh, receivers and all the skill position players. Now, I don't know if that's like a hot, cold system like you see uh, in basketball games where guys, you know, warming up. I didn't really see any icons um, that said, you know, that were actually on, that uh, looked like fire icons. Although you can kind of see something here above the defensive player. But ultimately, I saw this quite a bit. I really didn't know what to make of this. So I just wanted to bring it up. Maybe somebody who plays the game a little bit more in the previous versions remembers that from something. You also have these little bars here, which looks like uh, could be like your fatigue or um, you know something of that nature. As you can see, they're all pretty much, uh, none of them are on full. But the guard in particular, it looks like his is almost empty. So I don't know. Since they're all sharing the same thing, it looks like it's more like a fatigue thing or more like a, an energy bar that I, that I imagine more than anything. But ultimately, I really can't tell from this these are just some interesting things that I'm pulling up and that I thought are worth looking at now I also want to slow down this frame here because you can see that this guard ability whatever ability he has on he completely ragdolls uh, the defensive player that he's blocking the defensive tackle that he's blocking so whatever that ability is that's going to be something that's going to be pretty OP if you can get that on your offensive lineman and mutt you might have what's similar to the vanguard meta right now where you're seeing guys just getting completely run over in mutt uh, so like I said a lot of this stuff I'm really pulling out from my mutt players but that that was something I thought was very unique. Now we get an actual look where there's descriptions when it comes to the abilities. You get to see safety valve says ultimate ability to win versus man coverage and secure catches when aligned in the backfield, which is something that's already in Madden. But you can see how they have like a tiered system. That says ultimate ability, where the next one, sidestep, which I already went over, which is basically the jukebox, says moderately improves the ability to fake out defenders with juke moves. The next one, takeoff, says moderately quicker release. So you can tell that they're tiered, where some are going to be, like there might be uh, players that have multiple versions of it, or, you know, there might be one version for one player, then one version for another, uh, which I think is kind of cool. So it's like, you know, if you have the moderate jukebox, it's not, or sidestep as they're calling it, it's not going to be as powerful as somebody who has the ultimate ability or whatever the highest level of that ability is. We also have dot here, which is standing in the pocket, moderate accuracy boost when throwing to open receivers, step up, moderately improved accuracy when stepping up into the pocket and not under pressure. Then you have a different colored one entirely, which looks almost like bronze. It says slight of hand, slightly increased ability to hold defenders using play actions on first down 
or less than three to gain. Now, that's a very interesting one right there because obviously I think they have sleight of hand and Madden. It's not anywhere close to the same thing. And then we get to see one of the best players in college football right now, one of the best running backs in college football right now, Ollie Gordon II. And you can see he has ultimate sidestep, ultimate balance, ultimate workhorse. So this guy here, if you play with OSU, you're going to have maybe the best running back in the game based off of these uh, uh, these abilities. And they're all in the ultimate tier. So that means that you can basically ride this dude all game long and he's going to be an absolute beast. Uh, balance is says ultimate ability to break hit stick and strip attempts so this guy's just gonna be an absolute monster now a little bit later we get to stadium pulse which is something that they keep talking about um, I think that this really can be changed based off of how well you perform on offense or defense. I think that's something that's going to be a constant thing throughout the game. I'm going to go over that in a little bit uh, in a minute here. Uh, but you can see how, we, like I said, we have this these issues in Madden where basically uh, if you're playing against Kansas City and the crowd gets really loud, you're going to have a you're going to have the squiggly line effect. You're going to have the, the, the difficulty changing plays, the difficulty doing hot routes. That's something that we all have in the game already if you're not familiar with it. It's a very powerful home fit advantage. And it looks like a system you're going to be working with you, uh, against the entire game. Now, they also show some team ratings here, but once again, they say they're not official, but it gives you an idea where their head's at. You can see Michigan's rated at a 93 coming off a national championship. Uh, Pitt has a 90 overall, which I don't know if that's necessarily accurate or not, uh, but there's definitely a lot of, uh, you know, just gives you a really good idea of what you're looking at. Clemson, 95 overall. Um, you can see it also has four controllers set up, uh, which is something that uh, they did say, I think you play up to six online uh, or six players at a time, so I, I'm guessing that's online. Uh, you also have some new plays, which we go back to you can see the flex bone the power eye the maryland eye the pistol eye you got the close formation very unique looking formation very different this is an army navy playbook from the looks of it you got the east which is once again very condensed uh, a lot of really interesting looking plays uh and then you got the tight you know these are going to be obviously very good running formations because they're not really meant to be they're not much of a passing school then we also get a quick look at new coaching adjustments, including a tempo adjustment, which you have everything from chew clock. You got pauses and negatives as far as that's concerned, which are things you pretty much know. But they have a new one called Turbo, which, you know, that's obviously just going to be, I mean, that's going to be a, a, an issue for defenses trying to make adjustments. That might be the most annoying one, but it also wears the offense down the fastest. So that might not be something that you can run very often. And if you look at the positives and negatives, it even says that um, it, it increases composure on positive plays, but decreases them on negative plays. So that might be a hack to get your composure up for a player, uh, which I'm sure is a direct relationship somehow to the actual uh, crowd meter system that they're referring to now i mentioned earlier that i wanted to point out one of these abilities but as you can see right here this guy is clearly tackled but since he has that triple option king or whatever it was called he gets that pitch out regardless which we saw in another play where somebody tried to do a pitch play and it wasn't nearly that type of animation so i'm guessing if you have that ability that you're going to be um you know you're going to be really good at getting accurate pitch out like right there he gets the he gets the ball out before he's contacted which is a little bit more typical so that's something that I think that they kind of snuck in there to show you like if you're going to run the option you're definitely going to want that ability now they also go over uh, some new throwing mechanics and stuff like that um, it looks pretty similar. It doesn't look too different from Madden now. I know a lot of people that went down and played the game said it felt a little different. Uh, you know, the trajectory of the ball and stuff like that might change. But overall, it doesn't look too different. They go over some of the hot route adjustments. Like I said, it looks to me like every single quarterback has the same hot route adjustments. It almost looks like Hot Route Master uh, with three different tiers as far as uh, options to call. And they look pretty similar to Madden. So not a lot different there. But it will be nice to have the additional abilities to make hot routes regardless of what quarterback you're using if that is the case. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to learn more about Dynasty Mode or about uh, Road to Glory, I already made videos on those as well. So just click the links as they pop up on the screen right now. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.